But first... There's no way in hell I was going to die that day. An ABC 15 exclusive. I don't know why I was there that day, but I was there for some reason, I guess. We showed you the video. Now hear from the hero after Valley hostages tackle and stop a gunman inside a Circle K. Before he was stopped, witnesses say that gunman killed a man and other lives could have been lost if not for the bravery of a father first to take action. That hero speaking exclusively with ABC 15, Zach Crenshaw, and he's live near 19th Avenue in Grant. The video of all of this, Zach, wasn't just new to us this week. No, the hostage hero Armando hadn't seen it either until his mom sent him our story earlier this week. But the father says he thinks about what happened at this Circle K often, about what he did, wrestling a gun from a murder suspect's hands, but also what he didn't do. What a day, man. May 9th, 2018. Armando Martinez. I was getting a drink with uh, one of my coworkers. I didn't know it was a gunshot at the time. 24-year-old Efron Hernandez was shot in the back of the head. Immediately, there was chaos. The shooter, Joel McLean Carson, started barricading doors and barking orders. That's my only thought, is how am I going to get out of here? I'm going to get out of here one way or another. The hostages forced into a corner, while Carson allegedly tried to shoot another customer. The other guy he tried to shoot was face down. I heard the gun jam, and that's when I told uh, my coworker, I'm like, hey, it, it just jammed. As Carson fiddled with his revolver in the back, there's no way in hell I was going to die that day. Armando decided to fight. He raised the gun and was like, don't try to be a hero, and that's when I grabbed it. Armando, 5'5", 140 pounds. I had so much adrenaline. Versus a man nearly twice that. I pulled the trigger four times as I was trying to get the gun away from him, and I was yelling for my coworker to come help me. And the reinforcements came. It was do what you want, either you get out of here or you help me. And they all chose to help me. The video released this week, seen by millions. Everything just came back, man. I mean, it brought me to tears. See, Armando's proud he fought back but it's not a happy day. One person had to die for all that. And I always regret that. After everyone ran out, Carson and the young father he shot were inside for an hour until SWAT arrived. Maybe I could have pulled him out or maybe they could have saved his life. And, I, and it's a weight that I've carried with me. Armando dwells on what he didn't do. The seven other hostages though, remember what he did. I was just somebody who was trying to go home. Now, Armando told me when he came outside the Circle K that morning, he threw the gun, put his hands behind his head, and immediately got down on the ground because he didn't want police to think he was a suspect. They did actually call him down to the station the next day and have him DNA tested because his blood was on that revolver, likely just a formality, though, to deal with what's going to happen at the murder trial. That murder trial hasn't happened yet, but Armando says he hopes to be there, and he hopes it provides justice to Efron Hernandez's family. Steve? Yeah, really remarkable what he did. Thanks so much, Zach.